Well, I'm looking at the size of the pulleys on my engineer-made Super 7 lathe. I seem to have accumulated a few of these um, calipers, measuring calipers of different sizes. Uh, for measuring these pulleys, I think that size is going to be plenty adequate. I'll get that. Then I'll have a look at them. But basically, yes, I'm just going to measure them. Uh, the range of tensioning that you've got on this is limited. You've got an eccentric on, not that's the clutch, you've got an eccentric there, uh, flats machined onto this shaft, which puts tension onto your pulleys. And so the pulley the small pulley there that's lined up with the big pulley here have to be of such a size that um, it just tensions the belt when it's under tension. Uh, similarly, the next pulley, that the amount of reduction here has got to match the amount of increase there. And similarly, as you go down, uh, because unlike the drop from the lay shaft to the motor, you've not got a lot of rise and fall or ability to take up slack. The weight of the motor keeps the tension on here. You can see it, uh, which is good and bad. Uh, the bad point of that is any vibration is allowed to happen. Uh, I can't remember, did I damp this motor? Um, no, it's undamped in terms of damping of the vibration. That means there's not a lot, uh, the vibration isn't uh, obtrusive at all. So here we've got uh, a slack belt, and when I move this lever here, on the lay shaft, it tensions the lay shaft, moves it all up, tensions the belt. So, the size of the pulleys is, should I say, fairly critical in order to be matched as you go up. I'll measure it. Uh, and I think this has been turned out for, uh, as a block of aluminium in one or two stages. Uh, that's probably the one fitted a standard for the Super 7. Uh, and the easiest way to do it, I guess, I'll check it, would be to make the pulleys on here the opposite of the pulley sizes on here. Because I think it will have been worked out. If you do that, you'll end up with the right sort of tension mm -hmm. in the belt. Is now I've got a certain size pulley on there, dictated by the size of the shaft coming out of that motor. So it's not the smallest pulley you can get on the motor. Uh, far from it. Uh, running onto uh, this pulley on the lay shaft. That's spinning. You see the clutch on this thing does work. It's a funny thing. And you've got the clutch there working. Then I'm using the small one here to the large one there. And the reason is, um, by it lowers the speed, but increases the torque. That means that the motor is going to be spinning faster. That's not a problem for that motor, because the faster the motor spins, the more the fan will drive air across the fins. And so at the slower speeds, because you are going from small to large, small to large, you're keeping a relatively high speed of motor relative to the speed of your spindle, uh, which I think is better. That's just my thought, thought better for the motor. Uh, if you really wanted to get high speeds out of your lathe, then of course you can just move that across and if you're at high speed you don't have to worry about the speed of the fan the fan's going to be driving plenty of air across the motor but that just keeps uh, the optimum amount and increases the torque so by gearing down the speed as you move from the motor shaft to this you are uh, keeping up the torque uh, just in case your variable speed controller with its frequency pulse width, whatever it's using in there, that it's driving to the three-phase motor, 
just in case it has any power fall off at lower speeds uh, you're increasing the torque by having stepping from a small to a large in that direction rather than the other way which would be large to small where you're increasing the speed but potentially reducing the torque right let's do the actual thing uh, that I came here to do which was to measure the pulley diameters okay so approximately that first pulley is four point five six seven four point seven centimeters four to seven millimeters the next one approximately uh, 6.6 6 or 66 the next one approximately can't see for the light reflecting uh, 82 82 millimeters and the last one uh, 94, 94, 95 millimeters, uh, and that's the the root where the belt runs is actually halfway up the side of the V uh, because the belt doesn't fit right into the root. It doesn't run on the root of the pulley. It it runs by friction on the sides of the pulley on the sides of this thing. Uh, so uh, you'd have to work that out appropriately the thing to notice is that if I take the size of the small, smallest pulley let's get this taken down again and let's see if we can get this open up to size of the smallest pulley oh it's a bit stiff sorry oh, let's close it down a bit. ok uh, pulleys on the actual spindle are all smaller uh, and um, if I just take the smallest one it's an example that's only 4.567 uh, 4.7 uh, so they're all a bit smaller so these pulleys are all smaller than those pulleys I hope that's helpful. Sorry, I didn't write that down. Uh, I'll have to listen to my own video back because I can't remember the size.